many changes in the world which uh, indicate that there, there were favored people who were no longer favored. There were, there were bounties of Allah bestowed on set, people of a certain age which were taken away and they are nowhere to be seen. Only you see ruins of favors and not favored as much. So what is the principle involved in that? Allah tells us, Allah would not take the favors away, would not change them. Hatta yuvayyiru ma'vayam kusayam Until they themselves change them. But, you know, the most uh, uh, important point to be noted here is this, that neither here nor elsewhere does Allah say that you change my favors into afflictions. What Allah says, Yuvayyiru ma'vayam kusayam until they change what is within them. Now this is why has not Allah told us that Allah does not change, change his, his, his favors unless people change the favors themselves instead of making this straightforward statement. There is a very slight uh, deviation from the normal expression. Nowhere it is said that until people change the, change Allah's favors. As we said, until people change what is within them, what is in their hearts. So that also is a very significant message to us. And again it says, Allah Samim Ali. God is all hearing and all knowing. Whenever the word Sami is used, Whatever it is you, it always creates hope of some redemption. Sami in the sense that still you have done so much damage, but if you still call me, God is still all here. You know, He will respond. So a window of hope is open in this verse. But in the second verse, which I am going to quote, that window is also shut. So that is the case of the advanced criminals. Here, this verse deals with the criminals but not as advanced as in the ones which are mentioned in the other verse. Now, Hatta Yuvayiru Mabe Anfose means that it is the attitude to the favors which determines the issue. Something goes wrong within your hearts, in your intentions, in your designs to employ Allah's favors in this way or that way. So it is all the issue hangs on your internal changes. Otherwise favors remain favors. I mean sources of benefit remain sources of benefit. What you change is your intentions, your employment of these. And uh, when you become crooked within, then Allah takes away those favors from you or uh, you are deprived of the benefits of those favors or sometimes the very favors turn into an affliction for you. That the second verse which I mentioned deals with the more hardened criminals is here the no window of redemption is open, left open at all. Says Ya Radallah of Khomin Suan Falamaratala. Once some it so happens sometimes that people have become crooked with him. They have gone astray past retreat. The result is that then Allah decides that now there will be no return for them. They are going to be punished willfully by God. Once that decision is taken in the heaven, then there is no redemption whatsoever for such a people who have uh, lightly treated Allah's favors to begin with, gone too far later on, and then instead of redeeming their, uh, I mean, retrieving their steps, they became openly rebellious 
and uh, we were adopted in mocking attitude with other stories and became rebellious with them. If such thing happens, then Allah takes the decision that from now on, all that is left for them is ruin and utter destruction. And once Allah takes that decision, then nobody can stop it. Now it is the style of the Holy Quran that while discussing things in principles, it also refers to the actual incidents which happened in the human history, which occurred in the human history, and goes on relating those principles to those actual uh, facts of the human history. So such an example is given about uh, in, in Surah al nahal about the people of Saba. The Holy Quran tells us, وَزَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا قَرِيَةً كَانَتْ آمِنَةً مُتْمَئِنَّةً يَاتِي حَدِثْ بُحَا رَغَبًا مِنْ كُلِ مَكَانٍ فَتَّفَرَتْ بِعَنُ مِنْ اللَّهِ وَعَنُ مِنْ اللَّهِ فَأَزَاتَ اللَّهُ بِبَاسِ الْجُوِي وَالْخَوْفِ بِمَا كَانُ يَسْنَعُونَ وَلَقَدْ جَعَهُمْ رَسُولٌ مِّنْهُمْ فَكَذَّبُوهُ فَأَخَذَهُمْ الْعَذَابُ وَهُمْ ظَالِمُونَ فَكُلُوا مِنْ مَا رَضَاكُمْ بِاللَّهُ حَلَالٌ تَيِّبًا وَشْكُرُوا نِمَتَ اللَّهِ إِنْ بِنْتُمْ إِيَّا وَتَعْبُدُونَ That is Nahal 113 and 114 and 115. And Allah sets forth for you the parable of a city which enjoyed security and peace. Its provisions came to it in plenty from every quarter. But it denied the favor, favors of Allah, so Allah made it taste hunger and fear which clothed it like a garment because of which they used to do. Here obviously the translator finds himself in some difficulty in uh, rendering the Arabic into English, the, the verses of the Holy Quran into English properly. The verses, the words of this verse are فَأَزَاقَهَ اللَّهُ لِبَاسِ الْجُوِ وَالْخَوْفِ بِمَا كَانُوا يَجْزِدُ يَسْنَعُونَ Allah made them taste the garment of hunger and fear because of what they used to do. Now the translator finds himself in difficulty because the garment is not tasted. But he forgets that Jew is tasted. Hunger is tasted. Hunger also has, has its own taste because it's related to food. So instead of saying Azaka Allah Jua, the Holy Quran says Azaka Allah 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 made this uh, what's, this, what's this called this dwelling or no this, this town township Allah made this township taste the garment of uh, hunger well cough and fear now the garment is something which envelops from all sides which covers somebody. And also the garment is something which is indicative of one's state, one, one, one's state of affairs, I mean how one is found in, in misery or in, uh, in, in ease or comfort, that is well indicated by the garments. But the taste cannot be shown. If you have a bad taste in the mouth, that is your own experience. It is not for display. But if you are wearing a garment, the garment is a telltale thing. It is not that you taste it yourself, that you suffer it. But also it is for the exhibition, you become a common spectacle for everybody to see. So this is the extreme situation which is depicted here in this verse, that it is not just an ordinary hunger they suffered. Their style of life, their way, was that as, as was it was telltale to everybody. 
everybody knew their misery, everybody could see it written on their faces and in the style of their wearing clothes and everything they did, it was so conspicuous. So their suffering was made a spectacle for others, that is the 